Dorum Window Market Magazine's final coverage from Fensterbau held in Nuremberg, Germany. I'm Tara Tafra. And I'm Trey Barino. We are starting off just as we have all week with a look at machinery. Today it's a vertical edger from Pharrell. Let's find out why it's popular enough to be the company's best seller. Yeah, we have uh, our vertical grinder. It's, uh, at the moment uh, in the European market is our uh, best seller. This machine can easily process uh, vertically uh, the seaming, grinding, even polishing, uh, polishing the, the glass uh, in a fast and very flexible uh, way. In fact, uh, we can also process laminated glass and coated glass. This is a solution standard uh, we can uh, um, suggest as uh, pre-processing for the tempering or in line with the insulating glass uh, production. Rinsen is a Belgian company that showed off some unique capabilities for sun shading. So uh, here behind us we have our product called uh, Slide Fix. So the Slide Fix uh, belong to the Zip Shade uh, family that are external sun protection uh, systems which are reinforced with a zip on the vertical edge and that allows you to have uh, screens that resist 130 km per hour wind resistance. So that's the kind of wind speed that you have in, uh, in Miami, if I'm uh, not wrong. The Panovista is also a sun protection screen by Renson. Uh, in modern architecture you very often uh, have glass glass corners or sliding systems which are moving away out of each other without having a central uh, profile in the corner. So Renson is the first company in the world to have um, a sun protection screen which come down and where the two, the two pieces of fabric they are zipping into each other. We have been showing you all the new introductions from suppliers, but what about people who come here looking to buy? We talked to David Decker, president at Burrell Windows, who traveled all the way from Texas shopping for the latest innovations. So tell us why you came to Fensterbau for the first time. Well, I actually got invited here by Becca to be able to come in, see a lot of the new innovations, things to me that are uh, completely different from the States. Uh -huh. There's a lot of innovation here. Uh, it was exciting. Have you seen anything interesting yet? Have you? How far have you made it along the show? I uh, went through about two booths so far, and, and the deal's very large. It takes a while, doesn't it? Yes, it does. There's a lot to look at, no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the hardware stuff that we're looking into that was here, and also some of the new innovations on the vinyl versus the laminate product that lays over the vinyl versus cap stock. Uh -huh. So a lot of, a lot of cool things. Yeah. Enjoying it. One of the things Decker was looking for was machinery, which points to a healthy market in the equipment sector. Sturtz told us a little about that when we visited. Right now the machinery market, knock on wood, I don't have any here close, has been tremendous this year. It's uh, been our best year in the last five years. So um, at the moment we're, we're booked through September right now, which is very nice to say, but it's also a uh, it's also a concern for us. Right now we are ramping up quickly in employees. Uh, Sturts US has brought on four new technical employees in the last month. And we're right now in the middle of a uh, expansion project that's going to take our facility from 24,000 square feet we have today to roughly 50,000 square feet by the end of 2019. And from what we can understand and the projections we see, we, we look for the next three or four years to, to continue to be strong. Well, it's been another great event, and there is even more show news at DWMag.com. But it's time to say goodbye to Germany. The large halls. The sausage. The pretzels, my personal favorite. And this unique city. We'll see you back here in 2020. Thanks for watching.